Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today I want to take a look at the Visconti Millennium Arc Collection. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have the Visconti Millennium Arc Collection. I have two of the pieces here in front of me. Um, the Burgundy, and on the right I have the Typhoon. So let's take a look at each one individually here. Um, the Burgundy, um, this is very similar to the Saturno collection. We have a, a nice marbleized resin here. And what's, what's obvious looking at this pen, what's different here, of course, is the crescent filler. Now this is something that's been around for over 100 years. Uh, Conklin did it, there were many companies that did it, Spores, there are a number of other companies that made a crescent filler. Uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit. But it's a different filling system uh, and that kind of makes it fun. So we have, you notice the clip here, a nice graceful, still has the arc, but it doesn't have the Visconti logo on the clip like most other, other pens do. Um, nice and graceful, very tasteful. Uh, moonlight on the cap band. Nice little Visconti logo, inverted V's there. Visconti on the back. Uh, this is a screw cap pen. A metal section and it uses the Visconti tubular nib, the chromium nib. Uh, these are limited editions. The burgundy is limited to 200 pieces. The Opera Typhoon, or the Typhoon, which is based off the Opera color, uh, 150. So let's talk about let's talk about the filling system here. The crescent, for those that you're not aware, it has the crescent, which actually doubles as the press bar. For this is a sack filling pen, and there is a lock ring, which in the Millennium Arc is a clear transparent plastic. So you'll see here there is a ridge and when it's in this position the lock ring prevents the crescent from being pressed down which means you can't accidentally squirt out some ink or anything like that. So we're going to move the crescent so that the the lock ring so that it's the opening is right underneath where the crescent is and then now we can press down on the crescent. The crescent operates, like I say, as a pressure bar and it flattens the, the, the sack, which pushes air out. And when you release it, it will suck the ink in. So you're going to do this a couple of times. And you're going to, you're going to see the bubbles coming out into the ink. And when you release it, when you're done, after you see no more bubbles, you can turn, rotate the lock ring, and again, you have a nice, solid um, grasp there. You're not going to accidentally move the, the filler. Um, in the hand, uncapped, reasonable length, posted. Um, it's a bigger pen. This is very much similar in size to the, the Saturno. Um, nice looking pen. The tubular nib, these are threaded, so if you're going to clean the pen, you can actually just grab it, your thumb and your forefinger, and you can pull it right out. And then when you just screw it back in, you want to make sure, number one, you get it tight, and then you can line it up with the top of the crescent, because you don't want the crescent on your, something like that. The other color that we have here is the Typhoon, and this is a dark blue. This is uh, the same material uh, that was used on the Opera Typhoon uh, that was out uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, the one with the mosquito filler, but it's a dark blue with light blue swirls. It's kind of a neat, a neat material. Um, again, same idea. Uh, no, it's not eligible for the my pen system. Obviously, there's no there's no top jewel, so to speak. Uh, and this one is limited to 150 pieces. But 
Same idea, rotate the lock ring, and then just press down. And then make sure that's nice and tight. So those are the Millennium Arc from Visconti. So there you have it, the Visconti Millennium Arc Collection. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com and our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or at any number of pen shows nationwide. Thank you.